Hi guys, welcome to CJ's Keto Kitchen. If you are looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, the entire family will enjoy, then you've come to the right channel. Tonight we're going to be making an easy and cool dessert. So come along with me and let's get started. So tonight we are going to be making something that only has a couple of ingredients and it is going to be a Wendy's copycat frosty only ours is going to be keto. So this is not of course essential but I do find that it's a helpful tip and that is if you have a stainless steel bowl to put it into your freezer for a few minutes to get it extra cold. When you are whipping heavy cream the colder the cream and the colder the bowl the faster your cream will whip. So you're going to need a hand mixer with preferably a whisk attachment. If you don't have a whisk attachment, just regular beaters will work. But the whisk attachment is very nice for whipping cream. The first ingredient that we are going to be putting in is of course our heavy cream. And you're going to need one cup of this. And yes, my cream is very thick. And no, it is not bad. It's 40%, which is just about the highest you can get in the United States. Now, if you lived in Great Britain and you could get double cream, it's even more than that. It's almost 50%, and I'm jealous. The next thing that we are going to put in is two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And just dump everything into the bowl, because we're going to mix it all together. I'm putting in one tablespoon of peanut butter. And no, this is not a chocolate peanut butter dessert. Most of your Wendy's Frosties do not taste like peanut butter, although that might be good to some people. What this is providing is some umami flavor, that salty taste that is sometimes in the back of dishes that you really can't pinpoint, but it gives it a richness, and that's what we're going for here. I'm going to be using liquid sweetener here. You could use a powdered natural sweetener if that's all you had, but I want to make sure that everything stays really light and fluffy and that's why I'm going to be using a liquid sweetener. You can use stevia, you can use Splenda, you can use whatever type of liquid sweetener that you would like and I'm just going to put in a couple of squeezes. I'm also going to be putting in just a little bit of vanilla extract. Now we're just going to begin mixing this and we just want to continue mixing it until it's light and fluffy. So you know that it's ready when it stiffens up and it has just a slight jiggle in the bowl. And remember, we are going to put this in the freezer a little bit because a Frosty is a frozen or partially frozen dessert, almost like a thick milkshake. Now, if you happen to have a nut allergy, you can, of course, omit the peanut butter. I have heard that a tablespoon of softened, of softened cream cheese will also work in here. If you don't like chocolate, you could just add more vanilla and omit the cocoa powder and add one tablespoon of softened cream cheese. But if you do decide to put cream cheese in this, it absolutely has to be at room temperature or you'll end up with clumps in your Frosty. I'm going to go ahead and transfer mine into a Ziploc baggie to put it into the freezer because I want to be able to pipe in a fairly thick fashion after it has been in the freezer. Similar to what comes out of an ice cream machine when you pull the handle at a fast food restaurant. If you don't want to go through all that, you absolutely do not have to. You can just scoop it into a bowl, pop it into the freezer for 30 minutes, and just enjoy it that way. But I'm going to go ahead and do mine in this fashion. You can see how thick and rich this is. It's just the consistency that we want. So I'm just going to squeeze mine into the relative fashion that I would like it to be when it freezes. So then I'll just be able to cut it and put it into my serving bowl. So I'm going to put this into my freezer and you need to put this into your freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour until it solidifies a bit and gives you that nice icy frosty texture. Okay. 
So our Keto Frosty has been in the freezer for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and now I am going to put it into our dish. And it's coming out in nice, a soft serve capacity. So there is our Keto Wendy's Frosty Copycat. So you're going to get around two servings depending on how far you pipe. I piped a little bit further into this dish simply because we're going to be taking photographs. And CJ is going to tell us what he thinks. And stay tuned after this video for more easy recipes. Okay, here we have our Keto Copycat Wendy's Frosty. And we're going to have CJ tell us what he thinks. Hi. So it's time to taste a copycat Wendy's Frosty. Okay. I'm trying to smile while I talk. <laughs> Don't worry. It's, <laughs> it's hard. Brain freeze. I'm not sure people, how people do that. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. This is good. Um, you know, the texture is a little bit creamier than you, what you get in the Wendy's Frosty. And it is, so it's very similar in taste, but again, the fro Wendy's Frosty is a little bit frostier. This is more creamier. And so I like this, and it was super simple to make. I mean, to me this would be something you can keep around the house all the time. A better carb bargain for sure. Yeah, it's just, it's just that this is, again, this is a little different texture. But it also could be that we, we didn't keep this in the freezer that long. No, no. So, and we're also not using a machine that keeps stuff super cold. Correct. And piping out ice cream. So, right. I think people will like it. It's a nice treat. Uh, I don't know what the macros are on this, just because I haven't seen what they are. But I know they got to be better than the Wendy's Frosty. Indeed. So, thanks for making this, uh, baby. And I think people will enjoy it. That's where your sweatshirt is at. I should have not took you. I should have found out that they had it and then just came by myself. Surprised me with it. Yep. I kind of wonder if I should be doing this. Why? Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes you have to do stuff for your kids um, that they don't like to make them stronger. Like, I hated seeing you. I hated seeing you cry last night. I hate seeing you cry. I had a hard time sleeping. So, it's alright. I hope you are, will remember this trip. You'll remember when your dad drove through a snowstorm uphill in the dark. what you could tell your kids. Uh -huh, yeah, your sure. grandpa, he drove a thousand miles to get my Rugrats sweater. No, he, your grandpa, he walked a hundred miles. <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> no water or food. <laughs> That's the story you need to tell your kids.